One of my favorite things to do growing up in the 90s was watching scary movies with my friends. If that's something that you uh, also like to do, and doesn't have to be in the 90s, could have been any time, you're probably asking yourself, is R.L. Stein's Fear Street Part 1, 1994? For me, keep watching. So the reason I brought up the 90s is because that's where this movie is set. So this is a three-part series uh, where Netflix is releasing one movie a week set in R.L. Stein's Fear Street universe. Now, if you love 90s music, this is for you. This is a who's who of 90s hits music, which my wife and I, we enjoyed that part. Now, mix that in with some great teen slasher action, and this really gave you a sense of nostalgia of some of the movies that came out when I was younger. And before I go any further, I do want to warn this movie is rated R, so if you're like, oh, this could be a fun horror movie to uh, get my kids hooked on horror movies, well, you might want to rethink that. And I don't want you blaming the reviews Lost in the Haystack guy for exposing your kids to some scary movie and now they can't sleep, because that's not my fault. So all the killings take place in Shadyside, which is the killer capital of the country. Now I wonder, why do people live there if that's the killer capital of the country? Another shady side tragedy. Some movies you watch because you're like, I'm going to find something original and I can't wait. Sometimes you watch it for nostalgia reasons. I would say this is more of a nostalgia reasons movie. Um, it kind of follows the cookie cutter. Uh, the town is haunted. Uh, there's knives everywhere getting people. Um... It's the trying to figure out how do we stop this bad killer from happening uh, movie. It's It does a good job at that. Uh, there's some, you know, it's maybe aimed at a younger crowd. So if you're from the 90s and you're looking for that nostalgia, I don't know if this will be for you. Um, I, I thought it was all right. I watched it with my older teenage children. So there was a few times where I had to close my eyes because it was uh, uncomfortable and then they had to close their eyes because that's inappropriate. What also kind of got me interested in this is how Netflix is releasing it. So they're releasing the 1994 movie first, and then the next movie is going to be set in the 70s and then 1600s. So the movie doesn't really explain why this uh, witch is uh, forcing these kids to kill each other. So hopefully that's answered in the next few movies. And there's not really a sense of resolution at the end, but... As we've learned watching any slasher films from 80s and 90s, you can have Jason 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, keep going, and then you're going to have a reboot in the 2000s. So maybe that's what they're going for here. So if, if teen scary movies are your thing, I think, I think it's worth checking out. If you're not a scary movie person, I don't think you would like it at all. Um, I, I enjoyed it, uh, but I, I'm going to give it a solid B-. minus. Um, this will not get the gamut paw of approval. Uh, he is just a one-year-old puppy, so that makes him seven in dog years. Uh, it's way too inappropriate for him. He couldn't even watch it. I will continue to watch the next movie released on this upcoming Friday. Uh, this one's more of a summer camp slasher. Uh, looks like that's more of like a Friday the 13th style, I think. This I'm guessing from the trailer. Um, and... If that's something you're into, I think it's worth checking out, like I said before. Um, but if you found this helpful, please let me down in the comments. If you agree or disagree, I'd also like to hear that. Uh, I'd love a thumbs up, a subscribe, and a notification button so you can be the next person to see what I thought of scary movies. Um, and I do want to say scary movies are uh, lower on my priority list. Obviously, comic book movies and sci-fi movies are more my thing. But... I do enjoy a scary movie every now and again. So if you found this helpful, please let me know. Because remember, when you watch my videos, you're going to find something entertaining.